Rahman Rahim, this is the question October 18, variant 43, question number 9. And what is the first part? A part is here. We have to find G of half. So plan simple, put half in G. So first of all, I will copy G function as it is, which is 2x minus 1. Okay. After this, how many x's leave empty spaces and replace half in both places, empty places. Okay, here half and here half. This two to cancel and one minus one is zero. So answer of g of half is zero. So I'm sure first part, you're not getting an issue. B part. So what is the question? F h of minus one. How to manage? First, put minus one in H. Okay, let's start this first. So, so I mean, I have to copy H here. So first I'm copying H, which is what? Three to power X. Now, how many X's leave empty spaces like this and replace minus one in the place of both? Okay. After so, what to do? you will get the answer of minus is becoming a, you know, three to power minus one. How to simplify, how to make power positive. Always when you bring in the denominator, the power of sign changes. And one you don't write, no issue. So this is answer. So it means answer is one by three. So after this, let's move on next. What is next plan? Just listen here. Okay. So next plan is, I have to replace this whole value in F. So I have to put in F. So first of all, I'll copy F here. Okay. I write the word, okay, F of X is what? It's 3X plus 4. What to do? You will copy, okay, here empty space. Here empty space. Okay. What do you will do now? Copy this h of minus one in this place and one by three in this place. I think you are getting very clear concept. So let me put the value. So h of, uh, I'm going to put here, so h of minus one here and one by three here. After that, what is the next plan? So this three and um, one by three cancel. So f, uh, F, H of minus one, this three, three cancel, one plus four is a five. So that's it, this question also over. Let's go for the next question. In next question, what is my plan? Part number C, G inverse. So let's find G inverse. Very easy task. First of all, GX cop common, copy this. After copy, uh, remove the function name and write here y. Currently y subject, but I have to make x subject. So let's see how we can make it. One will come here. So y, uh, y will come here. So one will come here, become plus. Two will divide because multiply. So it will divide like this. Now side changes. When I side change fully, left go right and right goes left no sign change at all and then interchanging x become y and y become x this is the whole story and this y can replace by inverse of it so this is my answer i'm sure you are not getting any any trouble so let's discuss the next part this is also over uh, c part is over let's talk about d part i'm doing d part here d part is so simple f f of x so actually put function of f in f so first of all i will copy function here so let's function of f of x is 3x plus 4 and what i will do i will empty space in the place of x and empty space in the place of x and now what i will do you know very well this function name will come here and function value will come here so let's put f of x I'm putting here and 3x plus 4 I am putting here. Now matter of just solving and the question is over. 
Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So f of x is 3, 3 is a 9x, 3, 4 is a 12, and plus 4. And this is my answer. I'm sure you're understanding. That's it. Okay. So after this, let's go for the next plan. Yes, please. So my student, E part I'm going to do now. Question is actually E part is here. I have f of x. You can see here it has a whole square. So I'll copy the function this here. And now I'm going to square both sides. So I'm writing here squaring both sides. Or just no need write even. Just put like this. Okay. And not square left side. Even square of the right side. So, so I'm going to square. And let's see what happens then. So f of x of square whole. So you know square identity first term square plus two into first term into second term and plus second term square. So this three x come here and here. After that four comes here and here. I think this is a very clear story. So three x comes here, three x comes here, four comes and four. I'm going to write my answer nine x to power two. 2, 3, 6, 6 into 4, become 24. X. After this, plus 16. Now that's it. And if we check it here, we got you our answer. How come? Now let's try to compare and I will write the answers. Uh, although no need to do it, look at here. X square coefficient is 9. So X coefficient is A. If he asks you, if, let's say. So this 9 is equals to this A. This 24 is value of B. This 16 is value of C. But he's not asking here. No, he just said you convert this special form. And we have done it over. Now I'm going to teach you the last part. And your last part is very interesting. H inverse of H. But let me tell you, uh, whenever X comes in the power, 2 to power X, 3 to power X, 4 to power X, 5 to power X. These kind of inverse functions not in our syllabus. I repeat my words. If you someone says, sir, please find out the inverse of this function, which is not in our syllabus. I have to take logarithm and logarithm not in our syllabus. So it means what to do now. So we have a special way. And what is that way? I tell you, you know, whenever we have, for example, this function, let's say three, and this H inverse will go there. What happens, you know? the inverse of the function will go and this three will come in the bracket. This is an important story. Let's again an example. K inverse of, let's say I have a X is equal to 10. When this K inverse will go on other end, what will happen? K, uh, sorry, what will happen? Left hand side only X left and inverse will automatically eliminate and 10 will come in the bracket of K. So this is a whole story. Every time we'll follow the same thing. Now I'm going so to- So could explain it part again? So I'm going to solve the same part again on the board. Concentrate here. What is my first question? F part is here. Look at here. F part is here. So I'm writing this F part here. And F H inverse of X is equals to G of 2. Okay. G of 2. So first of all, G of 2 is not a hard thing for you. You know, put 2 in G. And put 2 in G means put this 2 here. Why, sir? Because it's G. So left side. First of all, let me write the left right side first. So I am getting the value. So put 2 in G means, so put 2 here. So 2 to the 4 minus 1, like this. Let me solve this one first. I got a 3. So first, right hand side is done. I'm going to discuss. I said you whenever, what is my plan? My plan is to bring this H inverse on the other end. And when it will go on the other end, we know what happened. Inverse will eliminate and it turned to be this. This I said you before. I repeat my words again. Whenever H inverse will go there. So inverse turn to be simple function without inverse. And this X will stay here. And this number will come in the bracket. This is our whole story. And now look at here. If I someone ask how to solve three H of three, sir. Not a hard job. Put three in H. How to put three in H? So H of X is here. H of X is here. We have 3 to power X. When I put 3 in the place here and here, then what will happen like this? H of 3 is means 3 to power 3. So I'm writing 3 to power 3 here. 
and that answer is coming 27 and this is a whole story and this way we can manage and i think so idea is very very clear that this question is finished fully finished alhamdulillah